Welcome to uh, this third screencast on the key concepts of object-oriented programming. Um, this one is uh, about polymorphism. My name is Mr. Govin and this is uh, for secondary school computer science students. Polymorphism is what happens in a computer program when you have loads of different behavior from different objects happening uh, when the program is executed for the same call to a method. Now in Greenfoot it is fairly easy to demonstrate polymorphism once you have a program that has loads of different actors on the screen all doing their own thing. So uh, this is my uh, um, very simple Space Invader program. Now it's very slow when I'm also recording the screencast, but right now I've got BOMB being dynamically generated at runtime, dropped by the uh, enemy spaceship. Oh, I've just lost the game. My actor has been just hit by a bomb, so let's hide a bit better. And then now that I'm under bunker, let's try to... Oops. Try to hit our spaceship. Have I missed it? No, I've got my spaceship. So we had the enemy spaceship on screen dropping bomb on us. Bombs destroying um, part of the bunkers and trying to get us. I had the bullets fired by my uh, by my hero, uh, which I controlled with the left and right arrows on the keyboard and the spacebar. All this happening at the same time. Now, if I bring on the screencast the code for my different object, so this is the hero, and we check the keyboard's keys, um, the left key, the right key, to change the X coordinate, and then if the space bar key is pressed, we generate a new bullet um, that, once the bullet gets Placed on gets placed on the screen. Here's the code for the bullet. All what the bullet does is to move. Well, first we make it point upwards, and then it moves, and it's going to check if it um, uh, collides with either the invader um, or, or the code for colliding the, with a the tile must be in the bunker. So it checks if it collides with the invader and it checks if it collides with the edge of the world. If it reaches the edge of the world, it then just disappears. Um, the code for the invader, it just moves back and forth and when it reaches the edge, it turns 180 degrees, so that makes it move back and forth. If it's hit by a bullet, it disappears. And then we've got a random gen number generator to add bombs. The code for the bomb is similar to the code for the bullet. They just keep on moving until they reach the bottom of the screen or until they reach the hero or until they reach uh, the hit um, part of the bunker. Now we've got the code here for the bomb. So yes, it just moves. Um, and then there's collision detection and finally we have a code for um, the bunker so the bunker is made uh, it's a, it's a two-dimensional array made of small um, I've called them bunkers uh, so they are like small tiles and once when one of these tiles gets hit um, by either a bullet or by the, um, a bomb it just gets removed off the screen. Now all these codes from all those different actors are all into the act methods of all our actors. So once you've got this many objects on your screen to demonstrate polymorphism you just need to uh, evidence that the, the be all these actors have different behavior and this, this different behavior is coded into your act method. And your act method, all the act methods from all the actors on the screen are all called 
uh, in no particular order at every iteration of a game through its main loop and you do get loads of different behavior on the screen and this is uh, polymorphism and it is made possible because all our actors inherit the act method from the actor parent class so with that we, we have not got access to the green foot code for the world for the actor and for its main loop but we know that as these are all uh, subclasses of actors they all have an act method which is overridden in your code where you place your own code instead of the original one which is empty anyway and all these actors have their act method called at runtime at every iteration through the main loop and this gives us polymorphism i hope this has been useful to you and um, well join me for um, the next screencast where we'll uh, give you some more informations on, on uh, uh, methods and private and public methods and uh, variables.